You're stocking your stuff. <laughs> Good morning. Welcome to Vlogmas Day 21. It's almost over. I can't believe it. As you guys just saw, I did a whole bunch of wrapping and I got Ken's gifts. Well, his whole stocking wrapped and stuffed. And I actually did the cats as well, but their stockings are like too small to actually fit anything. So I have a little gift over there with all the cats <laughs> stocking stuffers too. I swear her ears just like perked up when she heard that. I'm talking about you. I wrapped you presents. Good thing you weren't watching. All right. It is the 20th. We have today the Mio Clay Away Body Cleanser. Two-in-one wash and mask. What's a body mask? Apply this versatile wash to wet skin all over your body and thoroughly rinse off. For more intense treatment, apply to dry skin. Leave for two minutes before rinsing off. Oh, well that's different than like literally anything I've ever had or tried. Like a whole body mask. If y'all have tried this or like any kind of similar product, let me know. I've never even heard of this. I'm very interested. Breakfast is served. Bacon, egg, and cheese on a bagel. Kind of just casually having a cookie before his workout pre-workout in a cookie form christmas version i just finished excuse my whole entire appearance i just finished editing uploading vlogmas for today for you yesterday and now i don't know if i mentioned earlier in the beginning of this vlog or not but i want to try making homemade air fryer like kind of super thin like homemade chips you know like if you go to a restaurant you get like homemade chips i've seen a couple recipes on like the air fryer facebook groups that i'm part of and they look so good just like super thin and crispy but you have to use the mandolin, which y'all saw a couple of vlogmas days ago. I made uh, like scalloped or au gras potatoes and now I'm obsessed with this mandolin and I'm so glad I had it. And that was actually a funny story. I'll link that vlogmas. There was something funny that happened with Ken in regards to this mandolin in that vlogmas. So I will link it, but I'm going to get some potatoes sliced up and then you have to soak it in like ice cold water for like a while, like 20 minutes or something. And I think you might have to even rinse it and do it again. So it's a little bit of a process before you can actually cook them. I'm obsessed with my air fryer. I will also link my air fryer for y'all. I got it during quarantine and I'm obsessed with it. I literally use it like almost every single day. So I'm gonna get started on slicing these and we'll see how this goes. Okay, but seriously, this mandolin is the best thing of my whole entire life. I'm so obsessed with it. It has, like, all these different settings that you can do. And I think you guys probably saw, obviously, as it was coming out, it, it glides through there, like, so easily. It's obviously super, super sharp. And look at these perfectly uniform, super thin slices of potatoes. It literally takes no time at all. Plus, you have this little handy thing to grip onto it so you don't cut your fingers. It makes it really easy to grip it so that it slides through really easily. It doesn't get stuck and you don't hurt yourself. And it is just the most magical thing ever if y'all don't have a mandolin i think you really need to have one it's kind of game changing i will link this exact one it's just from target super affordable i have all the potatoes they finished soaking the water was like so like starchy and i feel like this soaking stuff is actually super important but now i'm just laying them out here i'm gonna just like pat them dry and get them ready to go in the air fryer those are working in the meantime i need to put these dishes away and i'm gonna go clean the toilet <laughs> Do they look professional? Season those. I will. Here's some better lighting. Check those out. 
This is batch number two, and I will say they look better than they taste. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but they just like, don't have much flavor. I've seasoned them with a bunch of stuff. I started dipping them in some ketchup. I know down here in the south, a lot of people dip their hot chips and ranch too, so that's also an option. But yeah, I don't, I don't know. I don't know about these. All right, it is that time. I need to start wrapping. I have my Hallmark shirt on. I've got the Hallmark channel on. I've got all Ken's presents hidden underneath <laughs> this blanket. He's upstairs wrapping my gifts. And actually, all that I have left is what's right here. So I actually don't have a ton left, thankfully, after this little session. Well, I have one other thing coming in the mail that I need to wrap. But once, once this session is done, I'll have wrapped everything I have. I am just so, I showed y'all this the other day when we did like a wrap with me, I'm just like horrendous at wrapping gifts. They always <laughs> look so janky. It has been like many hours and I'm still wrapping, but I'm, I'm pretty close to being done. However, my wrapping job is literally not getting any better. Like I just keep ripping it and having to like mend it. Like do y'all, please comment down below. Do you have your gifts that look like this or am I actually terrible? Are you equally as terrible? Are you like a pro gift wrapper? I really need to know like where I stand because this is basically as good as it gets for me. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm so exhausted. Okay, this is what we've done today. Do you guys see this? I feel like I hope it looks like as much as it is because that was exhausting. I literally like have a headache and most of these like bags and so like this bag alone has I think nine or ten items in it. All of these like this has multiple items in it. Obviously this bag has a ton of stuff in it. This thing I literally can't even wrap. Like I don't even have a bag that will fit this. I don't even want to try wrapping this so I'm going to just have to like hide this somewhere and then remember to take it out <laughs> when I'm giving him his gifts but oh my gosh I'm officially well I'm officially done wrapping Ken's present and then there's two things coming in for two family members that should hopefully be here in the mail tomorrow and then I can wrap that and then I'll be officially like completely done wrapping everything I also don't even know where all this is supposed to go because I don't have <laughs> any more like room under the tree so i'm gonna have to i mean there's like tiny gaps of space i might just have to like load up this area back here another thing i'm super proud of is i didn't waste any wrapping paper like this is a perfect like kind of cut off line of wrapping paper and i used up all my little scraps so i didn't have any waste <laughs> which i feel like i'm always really proud of isn't this card just so adorable i love the little like art on it I just think it is the cutest thing. It's got like some little kind of reflective parts to it. It's from Hallmark, obviously. Oh, I love it. And this is actually pretty much the last thing I need to do now that the card is written. I can, I guess I'll just slip that in his stocking or something. And I'm officially done. So here's just a little overview. I'll show y'all everything. I just put his card in his stocking here. His stocking is completely completely stuffed so that is done and then here's the tree situation y'all this is like completely you can probably tell there's like layers <laughs> all the way through to the base of the tree and it's obviously even kind of starting to like stick out off the tree skirt there's so many gifts tucked in here under here like everywhere and then i actually had to like i'm kind of glad this tree is in this corner over here because i can put all the overflow in this little section and it doesn't like get in the way and you can't even like notice it when you're <laughs> not peeking behind the tree and then over here i had to like kind of rearrange some stuff but i moved some stuff around so it will be all layered and i'm that's pretty much at max capacity like every inch underneath this tree is completely full you can even see some gifts <laughs> under back there so this tree is maxed out which is perfect because like i said i'm basically done i just have two more things and then i'm done wrapping it's just exhausting and that took me probably like two and a half hours yeah i <laughs> guess how long i was sitting there but it needed to get done. I usually spread it out a little bit, but now I'm caught up. Ken's still wrapping. 
I need like a snack or something. <laughs> Let me know, how do y'all feel about wrapping? Do you love it? I mean, I love it, but it's just tiring, you know? Today has been the most bummy day. I mean, I feel like we got stuff done. Like Ken finished all his wrapping, I finished all my wrapping. I just got a video edited and it's uploading or it's gonna be uploading when Ken's not playing video games. That video took me a long time to edit. Some certain types of videos, y'all will obviously see it's not going up for a little bit, but certain types of videos just take so much longer to edit than others. Like they just require a lot of extra editing and I kind of like got a headache when I was rapping and then editing that for so long gave me a little bit of a headache. But I'm being productive because I also just did my bullet journal for this month. So I just did something kind of simple little like blue theme for January. I typically just look up like, different bullet journal ideas and just kind of pick one and copy it. So this is what I did for January. I'm gonna be starting on dinner here shortly. I have our home chef for tonight and thank goodness this is one of the 15 minute meal kits because like I just said, I'm really not feeling super good. My head is bothering me and I do not want to spend like any time on dinner. I love these ones because like these, the pasta is already cooked. So like I literally don't even have to worry about that. And you can just tell by like the steps that <laughs> there's almost no steps. It's gonna be super easy. I always have a link in my description box for Home Chef. I have a super, super, super good discount code that gets you like four meals for like 12 or $13. It's a great deal. Home Chef is our favorite. We literally get at least three to four, sometimes five Home Chef meals every single week because we love it so much. It is the best like meal subscription service ever and you can get it for a really, really good deal. And definitely check that out. They have so many options every single week and we're obsessed with it. Wow, do y'all see this? This is a ground beef, the peppers, the taco seasoning, and then cream cheese and like queso cheese. Oh my gosh, this looks so good. I would just eat it like this, honestly. Okay, but how good do these look? There's some queso fresco on top of that. It's kind of like a taco pasta, basically, like a cheesy taco pasta. Oh, that dinner was so, so good. And now, of course, per usual, we are sitting down to watch a Christmas movie. We've been doing that pretty much every single night <laughs> these last couple nights. And since it's only like five days till Christmas, we pretty much have to get going to finish our list. I really wanted to watch National Lampoon's tonight, but we can't find that on any of the streaming services that we watch. But Ken actually looked it up on Google and it's gonna be playing on AMC tomorrow night at I think eight o'clock. So actually for y'all, it will be the day you're watching this today for you. So if y'all have been wanting to watch National Lampoons and you can't, like you don't have it on any of your like subscription services, it's gonna be on AMC at eight o'clock. If you haven't seen it yet this year, or even if you have, you probably wanna watch it again. AMC right now was just playing Polar Express and now it's playing Elf, which I didn't really realize AMC had Christmas movies on. On every single night I, I wish I would have known that not five days before Christmas because then we probably would have like checked out their programming and maybe we would have watched some that we haven't watched yet or maybe others that like they have that I didn't even think of I didn't realize that was the place to see all the Christmas movies like it looks like they're playing the really good ones that's a good suggestion I'm definitely gonna check out their programming over the next couple of days to see what else they're playing because we might Check that out. I wanna try to find either Charlie Brown Christmas or maybe Claus. Klaus, I don't really wanna watch Bad Santa. That's also on our list, but I don't really feel like watching that. I think that's on Netflix, but I'm just not in the mood for that. I just, that's not super Christmassy either. I feel like it's kinda of like Die Hard. I mean, it is Christmassy, but it's also like, not like a feel good Christmas movie. It's kind of like a raunchy Christmas movie. But anyway, that is the plan. I also really want popcorn. So we're gonna make some popcorn and hang out. My head's feeling a little bit better ever since I ate something, but I'm still not feeling super great. So we're just gonna have a bummy, cozy night in. It's the Sunday before Christmas. That is so crazy. I hope y'all had a great weekend and we will see you in tomorrow's Vlogmas. Jack Frost nipping at your nose. So I'm